Yeah, this is their cheap. I, I it's still three hundred fifty bucks, which is cheap for the phone you're getting. Mm-hmm. So it's still it's your Pixel Four A phone. So it's your plastic back. You know, it's not your your top of the line phone, but it's from what I'm reading with the specs and everything, it's a good phone. Uh, it's not expandable memory, but it's 128 gigs you're getting for 350. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's single uh, single camera in the back, but because it's Google, they can do the night mode on theirs and they can do the um, portrait uh, computationally, so you don't need two cameras. And now the question is, if you're looking, let's say you're an Android person and you're looking for a Pixel phone. Now, if I was an Android person, I would look for a Pixel phone because mm-hmm. they get updates mm-hmm. versus everyone else just because of the way it's set up. The thing is, do you want 5G or not? This does not have 5G. They are coming out with a 4A 5G version later this year mm. for, I think it's $150 more. So, also the question, are you in a place where it matters? Right. right? Are you and a place where for- it matters? For the most, for for pretty much everyone in the U.S., the answer is no. Mm. <laughs> you know, five G mm. really won't matter for a year or two. Do we even have it in Pittsburgh yet? At any capacity, are we aware uh, of? You know, I have no idea, but I'm guessing someone has. Someone can sp- pretty much boast and say, "Hey, we have five G coverage in Pittsburgh in this corner of downtown." If you move. Four feet that way, you'll lose 5G. But in this spot right here, we're going to put a dot on the ground. In this six-foot dot, you have 5G incredible speed. So kind of like when um, um, LTE came out where it was really limited and Mm -hmm. people were calling it, you know, 